Hi guys, I know it's been a while and I apologise. I thought it was high time that I did another video to let you guys know what's been happening since I last posted, which was more or less a year ago now. Um, in case people think that I've kind of fell off the face of the earth, that, you know, that is not the case. Um, just that a lot's been going on in that year that I kind of wanted to talk about and um, let you know some updates and things that are going on as well, which I hope to bring you some more videos over the coming weeks. Um, <clears throat> so since I posted last, um, we came out of the lockdown and we had a, an amazing summer. Um, in that summer time, we had built a bar in, we had extended the summer kitchen. I'll have to see if I can find some photos to put on, um, on here for you you guys to see um but during the summer period we met some new friends and we spent like a lot of weekends actually um at barbecues and parties and get togethers and you name it we had people around here we had a karaoke night that was a lot of fun um the summer was beautiful you know so we spent a lot of time in um the garden because at work at the time my hours were reduced from like 37 down to 15 and thank god that i live here as well is all that i can say because we could still manage on those me working those hours so i was still able to pay the bills and get the food in which was the main you know the most important thing that we could could need to do at that time so thank god that i i kind of lived here because i dread to think like a lot of other people in the uk um what position we would have been in if we still lived there so um so yeah um we, everything's been really good here um in regards to what's been happening um as i say work wise um i'm very very happy with things uh regarding my career at the moment um i got promoted uh in my job in october last year and as a result i've been working full-time hours again and to be honest um the job that i'm doing it's it's such a blessing i work with such a amazing team of people um it's it's been a, a blessing it really really has and um living here as well it it contributes you know massively so much so that um a little bit of news to tell you guys that around september we bought another house so um this house isn't too far away it's about 40 50 minute drive but the reason that we bought it is um, where we are now, we've been fine with this place. We've we've loved it. We still do. Um, but it never had a view. And one of the things that we wanted from living in Bulgaria is we wanted somewhere that had a view, um, you know, of something, um, not just like other houses happy to say that this house ticks all the boxes we got it for an absolute bargain um and what it needs to do it is isn't that much to me it needs some new it needs new windows it needs um some work doing on the bathroom upstairs because there's not a toilet in there at the moment that we're wanting to put another toilet in so it'll have a toilet upstairs and downstairs um, we want to see about put, getting heating put into it and various other things and to be honest we're in two minds whether we will move there permanently or whether we'll just um, use it for the summer what we want to do is we want to move in for the warmer period and see how things are for a couple of months before we make a decision and as i say it's got nothing to do with where we are now we've been quite happy our neighbors are wonderful you know we've had no trouble here whatsoever it's been absolutely great um but the thing being is it doesn't tick all the boxes when we were going to first move here the house that we originally were going to live in um did it was a bungalow um it had lovely views it was quiet and secluded um 
which is what we wanted. Um, the reason that we moved here was because we couldn't get internet at the other house. Um, and that proved to be a bit of a problem because I need internet obviously for work. <clears throat> now at the other house that we're going to go to, that doesn't have a fixed line internet, but things are changing a lot now here in Bulgaria compared to even four years ago when we moved here. Um, so in that, so Vivacom, um, is one of the, the major mobile networks has just released an unlimited plan and um, we found out that it's basically unlimited minutes, text and data. Um, but what you can do is you can actually take the SIM and put it in a router and use it for mobile internet. And also it has um, a very good signal in that area. And I went in and made inquiries and I got told, yes, as long as you don't go over 100 gigabytes a day, it's absolutely fine. 100 gigabytes is a lot of data. Um, we're never ever going to go over that. So that's opened a lot of doors for us in regards to um, what we want to do. Um, so there is some, probably some pros and cons to it. Like it's closer to uh to the city um but the cons are like the window access might be a lot more difficult because where we are here it's more like a town whereas this is a village um so the roads might be less accessible in order to get out but saying that as well the last two years the winters have been a lot milder than the first year we were here so the first year we were here we had like I think it was like snow drifts of up to eight foot. That hasn't happened for the last few years. Now, you could blame climate change for that. You could blame a number of different things. And we still might get winters in the future. Like we're gonna get forecast for snow tomorrow for the next couple of days. And that might happen, you know, in the next couple of days, we don't know. But because we've planned our winters well over the last couple of years, so we'll, for instance, when we know that the snow's gonna come, we go to get our shopping in and we get as much in as we can so that we know that we've got everything that we could possibly need in case the snow hits to kind of see through until it starts to melt a bit and we can get access onto a road. Um, so things like that, we're completely like ready um, now when these these kind of winters hit so we know exactly what we need to do and that we always make sure that we have enough fuel in uh, for heating etc so I'm not worried about that whatsoever now when it comes to winter time um so yeah so I I I'm looking forward to going over there and spending some time and because being able to have internet access means that I can still work, which is a bonus because obviously I need to be working, you know, in order to get the money in. But the other thing I like about with the other house is, as I say, it needs some new windows. It needs a bit of a paint job. It needs a few things doing, not a lot um, for to make it habitable. And just because of its remoteness of where the house is is ideal for us you know we've never minded having neighbors but it was never what we wanted to have directly so where the house is positioned it hasn't got anybody at either side of us there's a house behind us which belongs to another english person who doesn't come until summertime and spends a couple of months in the summer and then they go back um but other than that, it's it's absolutely idyllic and it's it's perfect for what we want. Um, so the plan is that we have from ten o'clock the night we have snow coming. Uh, we're going on lockdown again on Monday uh, for ten days. So once that snow clears and the warmer weather starts to come, um, we're going to go in and really get stuck in on the new house. So I'm going to look at sharing some videos of the stuff that we're doing in there give you a bit of a tour around um so you can see kind of what it looks like <clears throat> um 
What will we do with this house? Well, it all depends because it depends on whether we decide if the other house is going to be suitable just only for the summer or if we want to live there all year round. Then we'll make a decision on what we want to do with this one um, because we, we literally have like no idea in regards to that yet. Um, but a lot of work's gone into this as well. As you know, you know, there was an extension built. We put heating in and you know put insulated walls and there's just been so much that's gone in it's still not finished as you can see we had a bit of an issue here um where we've had a leak coming in and we've had to take some of the plasterboard away to um try and find out where the leak is so until the warmer weather comes we need to then get up and have a look so that that can all be replasterboarded and painted and made right again so that's why you can see this this little hole here which is a bit of an eyesore but <clears throat> that's just how it goes unfortunately um so other than that that's mainly what's been happening so as i say it's not like um I haven't been doing anything I have it a lot of it's just been to do with work and things like that and in the winter months all that you want to do is after work is you just want to go and sit by the fire and watch a bunch of stuff so we've watched Doc Martin from start to finish we watch Broadchurch we're in the middle of watching Shetland um we watch films on a Saturday you know so that's all really that you can do on a weekend when it's cold and everywhere's closed and you know nothing really that else that you can do so yeah i just really wanted to quickly check in i can see that i'm still getting subscribers even though that i haven't done a video and i just thought it was high time you know that i did one so that you guys could see um oh the other thing is i got some new glasses i just wanted to quickly let you guys know about that in case anybody's like thinking about what do you do you know when it comes to opticians um so i had my old prescription um but i knew i was really due an eye test because i work in front of a computer for eight hours a day and i went to a local optician it's very very small one actually and uh went with a friend and we explained that i needed an eye test and she could do them she was a qualified optician so she did an eye test just like you would get in the UK. So you get the funny pair of glasses and you look at the screen and they get you the readout numbers and then they'll say, does this number look clearer? Does this look more blurred and what, what, what not? And um, the, the, the eye test was completely free. And then they tell you whether you need a new prescription or whether you, your prescription's the same. And then we talk about glasses. Um, so I got a pretty good deal on these because the lenses were more expensive because I have um, astigmatism in one eye. And because of it, she suggested um, these lenses, which are Nikon actually, uh, Japanese lenses. And I got a really good deal on the frames, which are Emporio Armani. I got them at half price. Um, so all together for the glasses, probably no different in the uk so the total price was about 230 pounds something like that so it was no real different when it comes to designer specs the lenses were expensive as i say but the reason being is because i needed to invest in my um my vision because of work etc but now i'm looking at even the possibility of laser eye surgery because <clears throat> i found out that laser eye surgery is available here um and you can get it done in the capital and it's a lot less here than where it is in the uk um so i'm gonna look at doing that probably end of summer something like that and get myself a consultation see if i'm eligible to get it done um because i just think at those prices why not um so yeah that's probably about it um nothing much has changed we're still okay um the weather's not been the nicest lately um some days we've had beautiful weather a lot of the times it's been snow today it's currently grey and we're supposedly as i said getting snowed around 10 
and then we're going to go for a couple of days but after that fingers crossed um spring is going to be fully here and if you can hear that machinery in the background that's the guy across the road who's cutting his wood for next winter um so yeah that's really it from me guys i just want to do check in with you all to say that yes i'm still here i'm sorry i haven't been around i do have plans for some videos um one is a project that i want to work with regarding income so um you might want to actually check that out because i do get a lot of people saying what can i do for a job in bulgaria so i want to talk about that but i want to talk about that separately which is connected with the job that i do my normal job um which i've learned a lot in the last few years that i can kind of relay this to you guys if it's of interest anyway um so yeah that literally is it from me that's everything i can think of so thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video i'm sorry i've been away so long guys um and i will feed back in um as soon as i can i hope you're all well and keeping safe um under the circumstances he is hoping that we can get back to some sort of normality soon now that there's vaccines here fingers crossed i'm supposed to get mine on friday next week um i'll just go wait and see like uh, many people but until next time guys that's everything from me enjoy your weekend have a great time and uh, i'll see you soon until next time bye everyone bye bye